Hello everyone. How are you all doing? I uh oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I had my intro all planned. Um but I have Nightwish playing. Um and Fleur Jensen has just <laughs> appeared on the screen, full screen, sort of uh, anyway. Um <coughs> I hope everyone has had a good Thursday. I'm looking forward to um, a fine weekend. Um, I was scrolling down um, some of the comments and things from uh, some of the videos that I've been posting over the last wee while, uh, and it's, it's great. You know, it's it's, it's um, amazing to see the uh, the sort of uh, endorsement of people who are enjoying what I'm saying and. Uh, most importantly, telling me to keep them coming because it would be <laughs> it would be a real bollocks if um, most of the comments were all "listen, big guy, you should quit while you're ahead," you know. <laughs> but um, um, one of the uh, but we we message actually from somebody, um, and all she said was, uh, "I'm I'm glad, uh, lo love your videos." She says, "I'm glad you're you're." Um, letting your hair sort of um, grow out a wee bit um, and uh, she said and I was sort of trying to figure out you know why that would matter to her sort of thing because um, I don't know her you know she, says, um, she said it's because <clears throat> we all want things to um, sort of be the same as the as they were we don't like you know in the rock fraternity anyway um, we sort of don't like change so much we like everything to be like within our, our wee family so if there's like a sort of a um, a variation in the force then it sort of re um, resonates through everyone so uh, when I cut my hair short you know it was like oh, you know things aren't the same you know? <laughs> and I'm not growing it down to here again but um, I will you know sort of go for you know hopefully go for the like the, the Ritchie Sambora look or something like that <laughs> if I'm lucky um, but uh, another comment that I saw and then I've seen you know not only comments from this guy but then messages from this guy and then a knowledge of this guy um, and I just wanted to give uh, tonight's shout out to um, the Gerard Joe Gray because um, he's always supported me you know and, and everything that I've done and I'm talking about you're talking 42, 43 years, you know, as uh, as known this person. Um, I'm obviously back when we were younger, we were together a lot more. Uh, Joe and and, uh, and myself and Ted and Becky and we used to we we had like the sort of um, and Br Bruno, um, we, we had like a sort of a a, a Craig Estate Rock fraternity, you know, and uh, Joe lived on Cleaning Way. And uh, um, we would often meet in the, in his house um, because he basically he was um, lucky enough to have parents that uh, you know were okay about us you know retrobates being in the house watching TV and having a couple of beers or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, he, I mean, he, he was he's always been a, 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 a you know a fierce friend. You know, I, I, I love Joe with all my heart. Always have done. Um, and one one of the things that I'll always be sort of grateful for him for was um, at times this this was whenever I was about uh, 17, 18 or whatever. It must have been about eighteen because it was our uh, I was at art college. Now we had been chumming together, you know, for for a while by then. But um, I was always working, and you know, but at this time, but when I was working, I was always able to pay my way, you know, and you know everything was fine. But uh, it was always part time jobs, obviously, because you know I was uh, I was still basically at school then. But uh, Joe and uh, and uh, Bruno and them, they all they, they kind of got like full time jobs earlier than me, um, and I went on to art college. So I mean, I was just I was like the poor <laughs> the poor student. But uh, but our you know friendship couldn't just um, fall apart because of that. Um, so. Typically, we would go to. I mean, I would have some. I would have some money. You know, it's not as if I was skint all the time. But I would have some. But our Saturdays, you know, were like meet in the Viking. You know, go down and meet in the Viking bar, 
um, at like 2 p.m. <laughs> and then that was us all the way through to um, whatever time, 2 o'clock, 3 a.m., you know, in the morning sort of thing. But uh, most of the times I just had, because well, what, what we did was we got in a circle, put money in the middle, so we five or five or five or whatever, and if there were eight or nine of us, you know, then we just sat um, and drunk until the money in the middle was gone, you know, and then we would put more in if we had it, sort of thing. But uh, coming around five, six o'clock or whatever on a Saturday, um, we would uh, then try and figure out what we're doing later on and get the bus up to the Craig, back up to the Craig again. And that bus journey was always brilliant because we were always right, like, there was, <laughs> we were always, you know, laughing and joking from the city centre up to the Craig estate and uh, there, there were great times, you know, but um, Joe knew that, 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 that I didn't have any dough, you know, at that stage, by the time, you know, five or six o'clock came and he said, but you're still coming out with us, you know, um, later on, which was like in an hour's time or whatever. And I go on, Joe, you know, I've got nothing. You know, I'm like, I, seriously, I'm out. Um, and he, Joe used to turn around and uh, and s say to the guys, are we going to let him sit in tonight? No way, you know. And they all, you know, agreed that, uh, you know, that, that I could come along. And we used to go to the Botanic Inn after, um, afterwards. I um, had great fun there, you know, and... and the thing about it is, is that, uh, and this this was the one of the reasons why I absolutely and utterly loved and still do love that man, Joe Joe Gray, because when they were putting fivers in the middle, he would take a fiver out and then put it back in again and say there's harbs, you know, and I mean they all knew that it wasn't, but it was as if you know, it it was just the gesture, and he would never. And neither would the rest of them. Like, don't be getting me wrong. The rest of them were really, really good friends as well. And it wasn't as if any of them whatsoever were sort of, um, you know, uh, nasty or sort of reluctant to have me, you know, <laughs> as being... Because, I mean, because it was a poo, you know, sort of thing. Um, you know, everybody was just putting money in. And they, you know, if I got if I got some pints, um, then they, they were happy because... And what I would contribute would just be, you know, to be there and be, you know, my, my normal self, keeping them going and joining them with the crack. But uh, but Joe, Joe never let me um, ever feel as if, you know, I, I was, you know, like a, uh, you know, like a leech, you know, um, because he knew the score. He knew that I was at art college. I was getting, a, a, you know, like a grant. I had like three hundred pound a year. <laughs> you know, when you think about it. But uh, what way I would make it up to them then, I hope anyway, is that um, I would do the back of their jackets, you know, paint the back of their jackets, you know, I think for uh, for Joe with Don and Angus, I think it did, or was that for Bruno? I'm not sure, but I'm sure Joe will um, come on here and uh, leave a comment and tell me what it was that I painted on the back of his denim jacket. But um, uh, I love you, mate, you know, and... Uh, Never think that just because we're the age we are and the years have passed, that uh, that I don't think about you often because those were Zeta days, space and theaters. You know, I think you were actually there the night that the stupid guy came in when we were playing the poor machine in the back, <laughs> and uh, and he, he emptied the poker machine of the money and set the bags of money on top of the poker machine and then went out. And had a drink at the bar, and we were looking up and going, you know, it's like swag. <laughs> and going, <coughs> I think with about, I don't know, I think we got 40 quid each or something, but I'm telling you back then, that was big dough, you know, a theft, of course. But, but at the same time, it was money that was going into a fruit machine, so it would have been going to the bar, you know, anyway. And, uh, and it was just that, uh, obviously, some people's hard-earned wages were going into the fruit machines, um, but you know, we uh, we <laughs> we stole it. <laughs> but uh, I hope I team up with you at some stage. Uh